Here are 25 misconceptions about your body that aren't true. 25. Sneezing stops your heart for a second. No, it doesn't. If your heart stopped for even a second, you would know. 24. You can catch a disease from sitting on a public toilet seat. No matter what your mom said, STDs are only transferred by blood, sexual contact, or in utero. 23. Coffee sobers you up. Not at all. It'll only make you feel like you're sober, which is dangerous, especially if you're driving. Basically, don't drink coffee after alcohol. 22. It's safe to lick a cut. Your mouth is a dirty place, and not just from those words you use, filled with all kinds of bacteria. Licking your cut will only make it more likely to get infected. 21. Reading in dim light ruins your eyesight. According to doctors, reading in dim light can give you temporary eye fatigue because your eye muscles have to work a little harder to focus, but there is no evidence that it damages your eyes in the long run. 20. If your mucus is green, you have a sinus infection. Your mucus can be anywhere between white and green, but this only indicates whether or not there is a certain protein in your white blood cells. It doesn't tell you if you have a sinus infection. 19. Nuts, seeds, and popcorn stick to the lining of your stomach. If you have pouches along your bowel wall, then you have a disease called diverticulitis, but it's not caused by seeds, nuts, or popcorn. 18. You get wrinkles in the pool because your skin absorbs water. Your skin is waterproof. It can't absorb water. The wrinkles are simply vasoconstriction triggered by your autonomic nervous system. Scientists are not exactly sure why this happens, but it could be because it gives better grip in slippery environments, though this theory is contested as well. 17. You would explode in outer space. No, you wouldn't, but reality isn't much better. You would go unconscious after roughly 10 seconds, swell up, your blood would boil, and if you're not rescued after about 90 seconds, you would die. You wouldn't freeze either, because in a vacuum, there is no real conduit for heat loss. 16. Drinking orange juice cures colds. Although orange juice does contain some vitamin C, but not as much as you think, and vitamin C is helpful to your immune system, it's not a magic drug, and will do very little in the way of curing a cold. 15. Tilt your head back when you get a nosebleed. This is actually quite a silly thing to do. The blood will now run down your throat and into your stomach, potentially causing you to vomit. Instead, try pinching your nose, sitting down, and leaning forward. Blood might get on the floor, but that's better than puking it up and getting your vomit on the floor too. 14. Peeing on a jellyfish sting neutralizes the pain. This is a popular myth that's not true at all. Jellyfish stings are activated by fresh water, and most of your pee happens to be just that. 13. Heart attacks always hurt really badly. About 40 to 60% of heart attacks go unnoticed, especially in women. If you do feel the heart attack, there's a good chance that it will feel something like heartburn, tooth pain, or any number of other symptoms. 12. Cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. The crack is just negative pressure pulling nitrogen into the joint, and that isn't harmful. 11. Alcohol warms you up. Alcohol only makes you feel warm, but only because it causes blood vessels near the surface of your skin to dilate. Ironically, this actually cools down your core body temperature. 10. You can sweat out toxins. Sweat consists of water, salt, and electrolytes. Because your sweat glands are superficial and only found in your skin, that's all that your sweat will ever consist of. There is no way for any mysterious toxin to be released through your sweat. 9. Going out in the cold, especially with wet hair, makes you sick. This is wrong. You get sick because of viruses. Viruses don't care about the temperature. Furthermore, your immune system is not significantly affected by the cold 
because your body maintains a core temperature of about 37 degrees Celsius, or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If this drops even by a couple of degrees, you'll get hypothermia and die. The reason more people get sick in winter is because you're likely to stay indoors and around other people, which is exactly where all the viruses are. 8. Sugar makes kids hyperactive. It doesn't. Studies have shown that when a child is given a placebo, what the parents think is sugar water, then the parents will consistently rank the child as being more hyper. Maybe your kids just get excited about candy, but there's no chemical effect of sugar on hyperactivity. 7. If you swim less than 30 minutes after eating, you'll get a cramp. If your mom ever told you not to swim after eating because you'll get a cramp and drown, well, she's wrong. You might get a cramp, but it will have nothing to do with when you ate. 6. Don't have milk when you're sick because it makes more mucus. Milk can thicken mucus, but not make more of it. At any rate, this won't set you back much on the healing process. 5. You should never wake up a sleepwalker. According to the myth, if you wake up a sleepwalker, it can give them a heart attack or send them into shock. While that won't happen, it's probably best just to guide them back to bed, because if you do wake them up, they'll probably be really, really groggy. 4. You become resistant to antibiotics. It's not you that becomes resistant to antibiotics, it's the bacteria. 3. Hair grows back thicker. It doesn't. When it grows naturally, it grows tapered. When you shave it, it has a blunt tip. This blunt tip may make your hair appear to be thicker, but it's not. The thickness of your hair is determined beneath the skin by the root, over which your razor has no say. 2. Drowning people flail. Hollywood's wrong on this one. As every lifeguard will tell you, drowning people are hard to spot because they don't make much of a racket. Drownings are usually extremely silent, with not much going on at the surface of the water. 1. Vaccines cause autism. Although the study that started this rumor has been debunked as a fraud, everybody still seems to believe it. No, vaccines do not cause autism any more than driving cars cause diarrhea. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.